Alright, the tall things you see are sunflowers, and they'll get 13 feet tall. These right here? These. Yeah. Those will get 13 feet tall, and you'll have all the sunflowers you can eat. You can make sunflower oil. They help uh, keep bugs out. Like the bugs will go to the sunflowers and eat them instead of your other things. Oh. And then the blossoms you see down here. Yeah. Are squash blossoms. The yellow ones. Yeah. Those will make squash and zucchini. And how long does that take to grow fully? Uh, three months. And they get huge squash. They're gonna get huge, like probably six yeah. feet around. A huge big bush. So how long do you keep them in these little pots and then you move them to um, ground? They're starting now. Like we could transfer now, or you could wait another two or three weeks. And then you'll see the red ones are beets. See that? Oh, I love oh, yeah. beets. They're my absolute favorite. And beets, you want to make sure you always grow organically because the fertilizer stays on them if it's in the soil, like a potato or a beet. So if there's anything you can eat organic, you want to eat beets and potatoes and, and things like that. And we've got a bunch of peppers. Which ones are the peppers? It looks like probably like a bell pepper. Nice. And then the sharper ones. Now what do these plants need to maintain and keep growing? The, right now they need a... Watering like once a day. Well, watering, they get watered once a day if you look here. Okay. That's, that's, that's the water irrigation. irrigation. Okay. And so it just covers the top of this. Yeah. And uh, eventually we'll plant them in the ground. Or we'll sell them as starts, you know, sell them for like three to five dollars a piece uh, to get Larry a little bit of extra money in. And uh, voila. Voila. Lots of work. And we got 500. This is 500 pots that we did and it took me about four hours. That's it.